hello my friend welcome to this video if you are one of those guys who are worried that the year is coming to an end and you haven't yet received that email from home office telling you how you can convert your brp into an e-visa here is the good news you do not need to receive that email today i'm going to show you how you're going to convert your brp into an e-visa and ready to view in the same day and it takes only three simple steps and you need just a smartphone with an nfc function so let's go so all you need to do is to head over to google and you type gov.uk just like that then you come to this part you click and when it opens this page make sure you click here specifically it will make your life easier that way then you type here access e-visa then you click search it's going to take you to this page so when you come here just click this one then it will bring you here where you can see the overview of an e-visa and all of that how to set it up who can set it up and get access yeah we are not going to read all of that you can do that at your own time so this is what you need as it is indicated here you need to have access to a smartphone specifically a smartphone with an NFC function. Then you need a mobile phone number, an email address, and obviously your BRP card. So once you are ready with all that, just come and click here, start now. So start now, you can say, you will come here where there is this question, have you ever had a BRP? Yes. You don't choose yes, then you continue. Okay, so then you will come to this part. Do you still have that BRP? Yes continue is your brp permit still valid i want to assume that it is valid so i'm going to choose yes then we say continue so it will bring you to this page where it says create a uk visas and immigration that is ukvi account and then it tells you what you need to create that account so you will need the following details either for yourself or someone else you are acting on behalf of for example a child so since i already did it for myself i'm doing this for somebody else so i might pick a different option from what you are supposed to pick if you're doing for yourself you pick options related to yourself you will just come to this part and you say create account who are you creating this account for this is what i said earlier so i'm going to choose someone else but if you are doing it for yourself then you should choose me who needs access to this account i'm going to pick this option if you are making for yourself alone and you don't want anyone else to access it you can pick this option only me but in this case i'm going to pick both me and the account holder okay then I say continue. What is their name? That is the name for the person who owns this BRP. So I'm going to type the name here in this box, the given name and the other names here. And then I say continue. After I click continue, we are going to see the next page together. After we click to continue, it will bring you to this page and it will tell you we will use this information to help confirm their identity. So above this line, your name or the name of the person i am creating this account appears so they are telling you they are going to use that information to confirm the person's identity so here they ask here they are asking for nationality above here is nationality i can't reveal it because you see the details of the person but here you'll put your nationality after you have entered your nationality and you click continue it brings you to this page where you are supposed to choose the document that will be used to prove the identity of this person if it is yours it's going to ask what documents you want to use to prove your identity so for this case we are going to choose brp still then we continue so once you reach here it is going to ask you to enter the brp number of the person or your brp number and the expiry date of that brp and most BRPs right now in the UK are expiring on the 31st of December 2024. So that one is a constant. So we'll put your BRP number here, put the expiry date of the BRP here, and then you shall click continue. So let me do that right now. Once you enter that, it is going to bring you this part where you're supposed to enter your date of birth. So you just enter your date of birth here. 
and then you will click continue so i'm going to do that right now and i will click continue then we shall see from the next page so after that it will bring you to this part where you're supposed to say it, it says you can tell us which email addresses and phone numbers of course there's other information that is above this line but it is personal information so i'm not going to reveal it but this is the most important part where it tells you you can tell us which email addresses and phone numbers we can use to make contact the next page you're supposed to put your phone number and your email address that ukvi can use to contact you then again you click continue all right so it will bring you to this part where you're supposed to enter your email address what email address do you want to use when you sign into this account so you will put your email address here so i'm going to put the email address that we are going to be using then i click continue as you can see here check your email we have sent a six digit security code to your email address so after that you enter it here so i already entered that code into the space that was provided and i click continue now we are in this part what phone number do you want to use when you sign into this account so i'm also going to enter the phone number here of course without showing you which phone number after that it is going to send you a code again to your phone just like it did with your email and you're also supposed to enter it in the space provided then you click continue okay then it will bring you to this part where you're supposed to declare create declaration so once you have entered everything that is required it will take you to this page where it says check your answers before you create the uk rbi account for so the name of the person whom i'm creating the account comes after this question so you must go through all those questions read your answers confirm them and you have the opportunity to change if you think one or two things are out of place or are incorrectly entered then you can change them at this point but if everything is okay then you can say continue so that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm just going to click here continue but because i was creating the account for somebody else it's going to take me to a page which i'm not going to show you but the page asks about my details and my relationship with the owner of the account so if that also is correct everything that i enter there is exactly as i was supposed to put then i'll just come to this part and i click here create account and just like that guys uk visas and immigration account has been created so what remains next is to link the account to the e-visa so to do that you need to sign in to your account confirm details and take photos and do a face scan scan your brp using the nfc function that i had told you earlier in your phone then it will be linked and you'll be able to view it so let's do that also quickly and you see how easy it is to do you shall come down here and we say sign in then it will bring you to this part what document did you use to create this account of course we use the brp so we're going to pick brp and then we continue then it brings you to this page you are supposed to enter your brp number and then you continue so i'm going to do just that and then i'll click here continue then you'll see me on the next page then it will bring you where you're supposed to enter your date of birth so i'm going to enter the date of birth of the owner of the account and i'll click continue and then you'll see me on the next page then it will bring you here how do you want to receive your security code for this case i'm going to pick phone number for ease of access so it is going to send you a code and you're going to get this note you need to use this code within 10 minutes or it will expire so i'm just going to enter the code right here and i say continue then it will bring you to this part where it says link your e-visa to your account you have not started of course i have not started so we are going to start together so let's just get started and do it so i'll come here start okay so when you say start it's going to take you to this part where you're supposed to confirm your details the first one is contact your identity and contact account security and then submit as so confirm identity we come here and then it will bring you to this part you need to confirm your identity using the uk immigration id check app you can use someone else's phone if you need to so it will take you to this part where it is going to ask you whether you have access 
check you have the right smartphone you need to have an iphone 7 or newer or an android that can make contactless payment that is the nfc function i was talking about so do you have access to one of these yes so i'll say continue then it will take you to this part where you're supposed to download the id check app on google play or app store all you need to do now is to go through this confirm your identity and contact you have to confirm your identity confirm your brp number your location your contact references then you will be required to add security questions after that you'll have a declaration and then you submit and just like that guys you would have managed to link your e-visa to your ukvi account and just in a few hours you'll be able to view it online so i think all of you guys will be able to do this easily if you have any other questions or challenges please make sure that you leave it under the comment section otherwise if you found this video useful please make sure that you give it a thumbs up share it with all those who might need it and if you would prefer to get personalized assistance in this process, I'll be happy to help you. Just send me an email or you can just check under the video description for a link to book a session with me. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.